Hey guys, it's Tiffany. I'm here to do my Christmas book haul, which I are in my mailbox, which I didn't get to do because I was sick right after Christmas. So yeah. So the first book I got was um, Alice in Wonderland and Other Stories by Lewis Carroll. Carl. And the third book I got is William Shakespeare, Complete Plays. And the third and final book I got, which is James, James Dashner, The Death Care, or The Death Care by James, James Dashner. This is like my book in the maze for trilogy. But yeah, that's all I got, and so you guys know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tiffany, and I'm here to do my December wrap-up and my January TBR. So, the first book I, um, the book I read in December was, um, The Bridge by Karen Kingsbury, Burry. and it's a... <laughs> It's a really sad Christmas story in a way. It's about a man named Charlie and his wife who open up a bookstore. And this bookstore has, in a way, I guess, changed people's lives, I guess, in a way. And to lead to that point, it also talks about another, um, another couple who went there at college and got to know each other and had a separate college and it tells their story and stuff like that and I don't know if I feel like if I get too much into it I'll spoil it so but it's very good very sad it's a good Christmas read very good Christmas read anyway so the book I will be reading in January is Wicked Wicked Lovely by Marissa, Marissa Mar sorry So yeah, there you go. So you guys know what to do, rate, subscribe, rate, subscribe. You guys know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tiffany, and I'm here to do it in my mailbox. And I got one book, and that is Rock God, The Legend of B.J. Levine, I believe. And I do not know how to say the name, so I'm not even going to try. But that is all I got. And you guys know what to do. Write, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tiffany, and I'm here to do it in my mailbox. And I got Dear Nobody, The True Diary of Mary Rose, edited by Julian McLean and Legs McNeil. So you guys know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tiffany, I'm here to do my January wrap up and my February TBR. So what I read in January is Wicked Lovely by Melissa Moore. And it was good, I liked it. Um, it's about a human girl who can see fairies when nobody else can, and her grandmother set up rules that she can, I think, talk. Like, number one, she don't ever attract the attention of fairies. Um, rule two, don't speak to invisible fairies. And rule three, don't stare at invisible fairies. So her grandma likes that those rules up and she has to follow them. So she follows those rules, but after a while this fairy king kind of tries to pursue her. And she doesn't want anything to do with him at all, but, you know. But I thought it was a very, very, very good book. Um, yeah. I don't know.
how she kind of blew him off. Like the whole in the beginning, the whole king just blew him right off. It's funny. So in February, I will be reading Vampire Crush by A. M. Robinson. And yeah, that's about it. You guys know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll cut together. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tiffany, and I'm here to do an in my mailbox. And I got one book, and that is Audrey Late by Robin Finlay. So that's all I got today. So you guys know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll cut you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Tiffany, I'm here to do it in my mailbox, and I got one book, and that is Circus Freak, book 9, Killers of the Dawn, by Darren Sean. Oh, I love this, one. it's my favorite. I've been trying to collect these in the original covers, not the new ones. But anyway, that's all I got, so you guys know what to do, like, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, it's Tiffany and I'm here to do my February wrap up and my March TBR and what I read in February as you all know is Vampire Crush by A.M. Robinson. It was amazing, I loved it. It is about a girl named Sophie who is in the um, journalism class and she's trying to beat another girl in getting the chief editor of the newspaper. So every year they get an assignment, I guess, or well, I guess this year is the new assignment that all the new kids they have to go around and and interview like all the new kids and stuff like that. So they feel welcome. So she's beating her and another girl in this um, chief editor position, and so they have to go around and and uh, get like all these you know interviews and stuff. But as she interviews people, they're kind of like creepy as she puts it. They're not typical normal day kids. They don't dress normal. They're all weird. And But as she sees her, um, the other girls, because they're kind of friends, but she doesn't, I don't know, she's weird like that. But she sees James Holloway and she knows him and she's a little weird about that. And as she starts hanging out with James, she kind of realizes that these kids are not normal. There's something wrong with them, which they're vampires, so. Plus, like, the vampires are on their own quest trying to find a girl with a star tattoo. I don't know, but. Yeah, I don't want to tell too much. Give it away. But it was crazy and amazing, and oh my gosh. Like, spoils, but. Like, when he asked her to, like, marry her, that was the funniest freaking thing I've ever had. I had to laugh out loud. I'm like, this is so ridiculous and crazy. I just, oh gosh. And the ending, the ending was completely ridiculous. <laughs> so ridiculous and stupid and funny. Oh my gosh. <sighs> but it was, it was so good. I don't want to get too much, but it was so good and so funny. You have to read this. It's hilarious. If anything else, it's hilarious. But anyway, so what I'll be reading in March is A Single Shard by Linda Sue Park. And and the bright this one. And on the bright side I am now the girlfriend of the sex god and also knocked out by my nugget nugga by Louise Nina Reason? I'll say last name. Reason? Anyway. But yeah, that is all. So, you guys know what to do. Rate, comment, write, rate, rate, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! totally forgot who is also excited for Insurgent to come out. <sighs> totally. Kind of sad that because I won't be able to read the book before the movie comes out, but I'll be fine. But I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't wait. Hey guys, it's Tiffany, and I'm here to do my March wrap up and my not April TBR. So 
So let's get started. So of course, the first book I read in March is The Single Shard by Linda Sue Park. And it is about a orphan boy named Tree Ear. That, um, he lives in a Korean pottery village. And he kind of breaks into this pottery place, kind of to like look and dream of making his own and of course he gets caught and ends up breaking breaks one of the pots and has to start working to pay for it. But trust me, he is not upset about that at all probably. <laughs> Definitely not upset about that. <laughs> but it was good, I liked it, it was very good. I kind of feel a little sorry but actually I'm pretty sure he enjoyed it. I'm I definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. I'm trying to work on not spoiling the book. Just giving a brief and not I guess saying that I don't know. But it was kind of crazy and really ridiculous and how we got caught. That was I don't know. It was just crazy. The whole thing was crazy. I don't know why he would break into one anyway. It's silly and dumb that he would like try to break into a powder place and not think about getting caught. I mean, come on. Really? But it was kind of fun. And definitely hard work. Oh, I would not want to do the work he had to do. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, luckily enough, he loved it. Anyway, so, on to the next one. Which is on the bright side, I'm now the girl from the second one. And knocked out by my Naganangas. Which is the second, third book. Um, in a very hilarious kind of way. It's the first one is, um, oh, what is the first? Oh, um, Angus. Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Smuggling. Smuggling. This is just, and these are very fun. It's just about a girl's kind of, a girl that lives in London and about like her kind of short bits of diary. That's what it is. It's like diary entry bits. It's really short, really fast, and it's just very funny and hilarious. Oh my god. You have to read that. I don't want to tell much because you have to read the very book to like know because it's very short and funny and it's really too much. So read the first one. Trust me, they're hilarious. But yeah, that's I guess for that one. So until April, I'm not gonna read any books in April. I'm gonna take a little break. So yeah. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my blog below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tiffany. I'm here to do my not April wrap up and my not May TBR. So for April, I didn't read anything because I wanted kind of a book break, and and then I kind of I tried to read at the end of the month. I tried to like read something and I just didn't feel like so now May I'm gonna take another month and do a not May May TBR so catch you guys in June. Bye!